Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Owls have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. for this football matchup at Rice Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Jacobs is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. He's taken down to the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Baylor's got a kid who is playing fantastic this year, and he's garnering national attention. When you sit down with this kid, he's very special. There's really no surprise he's among the nation's elite right now. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. They make the stop around the 45-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Williams missed the tackle at the 26 yard line. That'll be number 32. He's tackled in the open field. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. on the run tackle right around the six yard line Rodgers makes the tackle at the six yard line that makes it second and two
Touchdown, Bears. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seven. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. And for LSU, they've dropped two straight. And for Williams, he threw for three touchdowns on the day. Kent State comes away with the three-point win. In another game, they are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Wildcats get the W, 31-30. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Daniel, ready to kick. Williams from the two. Tackle made at the 26. Rice's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Jones gets the call. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball in the 23. Five wide. Green nine, green nine. <laughs> intended to see the other play. That'll make it third and 13. Man left, man left. Pick me up. Here we go. Watch. Watch number 86. Watch 86. <laughs> Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Patterson is waiting for the snap. Gilmore fields it at the 40. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Slings it. He's at the 30, and they push him out at the 29-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. There's a strike complete. He's down. Parker picks up six yards with that grab. That'll make it second and four. Baylor up seven points. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Baylor! And he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And for Kansas, they draw first blood with a passing touchdown. The Jayhawks are on top, 7-0. 14-0 in this one, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Pick up 
It was a quick three and out on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Hand off up the middle. He makes it to the 28-yard line. a bullet over the middle. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 46. The Bears are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop it. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Quick out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. He scrambled. He's at the 20. Fumble, loose ball. Tackle made at the 18. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Bears lead it by two touchdowns. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The 10. Touchdown, Bears. the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 53-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Brought down at the 32. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Ready. Big opening! And he's tackled at the 43. Joseph's the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. They'll bring him down at the 45. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 40. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. 
Makes it out to about the 30. it out to about the 19. He's scrambling. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Seven yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings him second and goal. Pressured and brought down. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Tenth play of the drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The Owls had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. It's up, and he got it. Rice lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes his way to about the 28. That brings him second and nine. Run and he's brought down. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Four down. Check, check. Wide 80. Hammerhead. Wide. Hammerhead. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked. And for Wheeler, that sack was his fifth of the year. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Baylor's going to take their first time out of the half. About two minutes before halftime. Tackled after positive yardage. That brings us third and twelve. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and they make the stop at the forty-one yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he brings it down. 
And he's out of bounds at the 40-yard line. His secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Over the middle to his tailback. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. scrambling and he's level at the 18 yard line four yards there on the scramble rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half it's second and seven ball on the 18 yard line that's a great tackle at the two Hit and taken down. Nelson makes the tackle at the one yard line. Kill, kill. That brings him to the goal. He's on the run, and he's taken down at the one yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and Easy. Flair. Flair. Fire quickly. Touchdown. on the short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. And he adds the extra point. Jacobs gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. The Bears are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Zips it to the back. There's a very impressive open field tackle. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Tackle at the 32-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 21-10, Bears. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it, and next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. 
That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From his own goal line, tackle made at the 20-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it out to about the 29. That brings us second and nine. On the ball, on the ball. Hustle back, hustle back. Door four. Makes it out to about the 43. him out at the 46 yard line. Forward to about the 26. Gain of two on the play. Too easy, too easy. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 26 yard line. Black what a play, and that is first and goal. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. scrambled and he's gonna run this one in touchdown and really a nice run there by that quarterback well great decision by the quarterback reading the defense and as soon as he saw the open field he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown he makes the PAT They're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Baylor is up by four. Makes the first down catch. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 38. Four-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just 
throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 24-yard line, second down. With the pass, incomplete. Come out in a five wide set. Strike to his receiver, no good. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference. Offense. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Baylor holds a four-point lead. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. to about the 41-yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Austin, second and 13. Ball on the 27. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Inside the 10. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a little peek at what's going on in Piscataway. And for Michigan, we might have an upset percolating in this one. Rutgers on top, 19-14. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. And now he's got room to run, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Looks for his tight end over the middle. He might have a chance. And down he goes at the 40. That makes it 37. throws this one away. He's going to air it long. Missed him. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44. That makes it second and six. Rice is up a field goal. Jones on the inside handoff. He's taken down at about the 47 yard line. That makes it third and three. So at the end of three, Rice leads it 24 21. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 45. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. to about the 31-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Rice is up by three. 
Looking for his man, incomplete. Right to the intended receiver on the play. That, that makes, makes it fourth and eight. eight. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Baylor's are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem just show up and be able to move the football. But I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Rutledge hits it on the inside, and they make the stop around the 44-yard line. And they just stuff that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. Tackle in the backfield. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Rice up six. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. So the offense is going to go for two. He's scrambling. He's got the two. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Wolverines sitting in the top five and hoping to move up. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Wolverines squeak by by four. In other action, off we go to El Paso. And for UTEP, that's now nine straight losses. The Red Raiders get the W by nine. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27 yard line. They're set to go for another round. 
Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it out quickly. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. Chris on the tackle at the 47-yard line. First down. He steps out around the 46-yard line. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Prince with the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Decides to slide. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide 80. Pass right. Running back's got it. Tackle around the 15 yard line. Fires quickly and it's picked off. <laughs> Herbie with that interception, this one's over. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own nine. Just over a minute left. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. The Bears taking their first time out of the half. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Done. Gains about a yard on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's got it with room to run. The Bears using their third and final timeout. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Rice's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for him, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.